Where do we get energy from? From food of course. But we need many other sources of energy to move the things we use every day. Electricity and fossil fuels are the most commonly used energy sources. And electricity is produced by burning fossil fuels. In a thermal power plant, fossil fuels such as coal or natural gas are burnt to produce steam. The steam rotates the turbine wheels of the generator to produce electricity. But burning fossil fuels cause environmental pollution. Besides, fossil fuels have limited reserves. We may soon run out of fossil fuels. So, we need alternative sources of energy. Windmills are used to rotate the turbines of generators to make electricity. Not just wind, even falling water is used to generate electricity at hydropower plants. We can even use energy from sea water. Surprised? Sea waves and tides run the turbines of generators to produce electricity. Another way in which we use energy from the sea is based on temperature difference. The surface of the ocean has high temperature relative to its depth. The warm surface water is used to boil a volatile liquid like ammonia. The vapors of ammonia run the turbines of the generator and produce electricity. These ammonia vapors are then condensed back to liquid by the cold water from the bottom of the sea. This entire process keeps repeating. And that's how we harness the ocean's thermal energy. A similar approach is used to make electricity at land from hot springs. The steam from hot springs is used to rotate the turbines of generators. Power plants that use hot springs are called geothermal power plants. Hot springs are not found everywhere on earth. But there is one source of energy that is freely available everywhere. The sun. We can use solar cookers for cooking or solar cells to produce electricity. Our sun produces immense energy through a process called nuclear fusion. In this process, lighter nuclei fuse together to make a heavy nucleus releasing large amounts of energy. Scientists have been trying to create fusion reactions on Earth. But fusion happens only at super high temperatures like that of the sun. That's why we use another nuclear reaction called nuclear fission to make electricity. In nuclear fission, a heavier nucleus is bombarded with low energy neutrons. The heavy nucleus splits into lighter nuclei generating a lot of energy. But with great power comes great responsibility. Nuclear reactions need to be controlled. A small mishap can be catastrophic. Nuclear waste also poses a big challenge. Speaking of waste, we can also create energy from waste. Cow dung, vegetable waste and crop residue can be decomposed in a biogas plant in the absence of oxygen to produce biogas. Biogas is an excellent fuel that burns without smoke or residue. So, you see, there are alternative ways of harnessing energy, but saving fuel has no alternative. Use fuel and electricity judiciously. Save today, save tomorrow.